a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeVay. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Ben. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. UFC belt on the line, go back to set all time, go back my command on all time. If you want to touch now, do it now, go back to your corner. situation with this fighter you're potentially playing with fire oh nice work from the bottom tags him with the punch oh man this ground and pound is good probably my favorite striking realm in mma and he's as good as it gets the problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture he's allowing his opponent to get up and when he does he creates this space to land a beautiful ground pound look at him dig that body shot right up to his opponent's face 
trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Working on a choke here, potentially. Oh, he's got a choke. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pretty bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, nice strike landed there by Troy. in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. He might get a finish here. Not tapping out tonight. All right, to the mount. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Choi. 90 seconds now to go in this one. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Loaded up that right hand too. Under a minute now to go in round one. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all the fights because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Hey, stop! He should be defending right now. And we cover. Excellent job that last round. Your accuracy is through the roof. I want you to keep doing that. Put those combinations together. And... You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with him. He was going low and 
now he's got him hurt very bad. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his oh, leg nice. in that situation. Oh my gosh, perfect execution on the Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. Oh, nice. to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Choi's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice, nice offense from the here. block. He's that guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, countering, it looks like with a bomb flu choke. Maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the second round. For the winner by submission, and still! Still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight, and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more